Hey guys, it's Mike, I'm back. Um, on the last video, I just showed you how to do subbus routing, getting all your inputs to one fader on your subbus, and then sending that to your master left, right. So you see here we have input, channel one, subbus uh, nine. You see I'm gonna select on a bus nine. First fader is getting signal, and that, if I select that, is sending to main left, right bus. And that's coming over here to main left, right fader. And that's coming out. In this video, I want to show you how to make a matrix, which means you're taking this main left right fader, and before it goes to that speaker, it's actually going to go to one more fader on here, a matrix, and then the matrix is going to go out to that speaker. And it's going to have the same concept as that sub bus video, which I want you guys to look up if you haven't seen it yet. Um, it kind of explains the whole concept of what we're doing, giving versatility with your EQ, your compressor, giving a lot more options, and basically optimizing your system to the best it can be. Um, so first things first is... You want to put that left right you want to you want to do your routing for your outputs so right now our left right is coming out of output one and that's why it comes out now see on the back here i have output one plugged in with that xlr if you saw the back it would say one and on my routing page on out one through 16 output one you'll see on the right here category main left right center and it's selected output signal main left so when i turn this up since this has main left in it it goes out of output one, which has an XLR plugged into that speaker. Um, this is possible on every single console, and every single console has a matrix, to my knowledge. Um, yeah, so this is definitely the way to do it, and this is the way that you get more out of your system. So what we're going to want to do is first see what speakers I have plugged into what outputs. I know I have output one plugged into this speaker. So I'm going to go to output one, and instead of selecting main left, right, I'm going to use the encoder wheel to go down select matrix one. Now, when I turn up this left right fader, we're gonna get signal, but it's set, it's not it's not going anywhere yet. Left right is just, it just has signal. It's not sending anywhere. And this output is connected to matrix one. So the missing link here is sending left right to matrix one. Once matrix one has signal, it will come out of the speaker. The way we do that on this console is very simple. On other consoles, you might have to uh, look up a manual or something, but it's very simple for the most part. Um, usually the same concept. You wanna select the left, right, master fader. I select it. I'll go to my home screen, and I see on the home screen it says sends. There's six faders here. I've used this console many, many times. There's really no documentation on the fact that these are the six matrices, other than the fact that there are only six matrix matrices on this console so if you piece that together it makes sense um but yeah you could just take this encoder wheel and it says level 01 and you'll see it pop up the reason why it's already coming out is actually because i have the matrix up i was testing this earlier i'm going to turn it down so i turn up this fader and now you see there's signal going to it that's because the left right is now on the home screen of the left right right here is sending to matrix one when I go to my matrix page, on matrix one, I have signal. And when I pot it up, it comes out of the speaker. And that's because we routed output one to matrix one. So once matrix one has the signal from whatever you're giving a signal to, or from, it's, it's going to put that out of the speaker, out of that output, because that's what you routed it to. And the really cool thing here is like I showed you in the, in the subbus video, is that you can have plenty of EQ on your master left, right, right here. You can go to our EQ page. You can do all these insane changes. I'm gonna pot it up so you can hear. So you guys hear how crazy that sounds? Then let's say your system's just not optimized yet. You feel like, you know, some subtle things that you need to do, something different. Um, you know, each microphone comes up, they just sound bad or everybody, everybody just doesn't sound as a whole. You're having some 700 Hertz weird stuff going on. Select that matrix, and you got another EQ. Turn it on. And you hear the difference. Turn it off, turn it on. Another very cool thing is you can use um, a compressor on this, and you hear the difference. So I now I just added another compressor. Another thing you could do is go to your effects page, maybe add um, one of the cool compressors in here. Maybe you wanna do um, a graphic EQ on the matrix and a compressor on the master left, right. So now your speakers essentially can have two effects. Your main PA can have two effects on it as opposed to doing only one effect because you can only route one time 
per output on this um, effects page. So you can't do two effects for, for your main left, right, but you can do an effect on your matrix, your main left, right. There's a lot of ways to get around all this stuff. And what it really does is just gets you a lot more control for your different sections and stuff. So if I have all my speakers plugged into my left, right, then that means that they have to be chained, daisy chained somewhere along the line. If I do everything via matrices, it's actually really easy for me to send how much level of that main left, right I want to each section. Hence a balcony. I can just easily select my left, right, master fader, main fader. I can go to my sends page again. Remember I'm on home, go to sends. And if my balcony speakers were on matrix, let's say uh, right here, let's go to matrix six. Wait, I can control, let me turn it up for you guys so you can hear. Or, I'm sorry, so you can see visually the voltage, um, I'm sorry, the signal level. So you can see my balcony speakers could either have a lot more volume, a lot less volume, without affecting the rest of my areas. What's even cooler about this is you can take that sub bus technique and let's say you had your center fill or your center cluster on uh, matrix two, let's just say, right here. This is your center cluster. And you'll realize, you know, it sounds muddy and I don't want the entire, all the whole mix going to it. I just want the vocals. And you created a sub bus, which you guys can watch in the last video. Well, the cool thing is, let's turn this down because we're selected on left, right. Let's go to our sub bus here, which I created on bus nine in the last video. And you see, I got the signal going to it. So this is getting signal from my input one. I can select that. And I actually can go to the same page, home, sends, and I can send to that matrix two how much of just the vocals I want now, or just the drums if I wanted, or the horn section, whatever it might be. But this allows me so much capability and so much versatility to get what I want where and have the sound that I want for it. And now I can really dig in on the EQ just for those speakers by going back to my matrix, matrix two, which um, I guess I did not send the single to. Let me send that real quick. Boom, sent that up. You'll see matrix two, which I'm selected on now, has signal. So if I were to crank this up and I wanted the, the speakers to sound a little different, that's my center fill on this matrix two here. This is my center fill and they just don't sound right. I can do a lot of my optimization within here and do some crazy stuff. And you see, I got EQ for just that speaker section now not affecting the rest of my speakers, not affecting the left, right um, optimization I've done. It's all separate. I could do a compressor. I could do effects on this matrix. I could do whatever I need to do. This is all to just get the best mix that you can to get the most use out of your console that you can. This is the way to do it correctly. And this is how it should be set up every time. Um, just for, um, since this video kind of has the matrix and the sub bus all together, I'm just gonna show the routing one more time. Um, one second. So we have our input here, input one. You see I'm selected on channel one, input uh, fader one. I got input. This I select and it is not going to my master uh, main left right bus. Instead, I'm sending it by hitting sends on fader. You can see I'm sending it to bus nine right here. The fader is up. Another way to view that is by selecting, hitting home and going to sends and you'll see nine is the only one up and that is post fader very easy way to see that so i'm sending the nine which i have here if i select nine so it's being sent to main left right bus which is going to here then if i select this i go to my home page again go to sends that is being sent to uh matrix one if i go to matrix one here you'll see that it would be being sent. It's not being sent currently because um, main left right is down. So if I turn it up, there it is. So you see that it's all post fade. It's all going through one step at a time, input to sub bus, sub bus to main left, right, left, right to matrix. That is how that's going. The reason why we have signal here, if you guys are confused, is because we're not sending the left, right. We're actually sending bus nine, if you remember. So since bus nine is getting signal, then we are considering but matrix two here. Sorry, I know you guys can't see the bottom here, but I just went to matrix two. If you consider this your um, center fill, we were talking about center fill having just the vocals. The reason why this has signal is because if I go back to my bus nine, that has signal. 
So this is taking this is taking audio from a different portion of the console. It's not taking it from the left right. The left right is down, so matrix one does not have signal. Matrix uh, main goes up and has signal. So that's the reason why, um, just in case you guys were confused, why it has signal. This is all post fade. Every single thing is post fade, so that if I decide to go on my main layer and turn this down, it goes away. So I can still do my normal mixing, and I can use my sub bus as kind of like a DCA, and then I have multiple layers of grouping going from main left right to my matrix, and then my multiple sections of speakers, maybe different delays on each speaker, um, can do a lot of stuff here. So this is the way to get your mix uh, right, make it sound good, and get the most out of your console. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to this help. Thank you.